You got those um, ropes and harnesses? Oops, forgot those. We'll just have to freehand it. We'll free climb it. Free climb it, yeah. that's right. Make a movie of it. Yeah. Of us falling off. The solo. <laughs> well, it was two to begin with. Now it's the solo. <laughs> Started out that the movie was the duo. <laughs> Who's going to uh, be left? We'll find out. Well, we've started Frenchman's Cap, and it's dark, and we're having to cross this swing bridge, and Eddie's the last one over. Here he comes, out of the darkness, into the light. We had uh, a night hike into the first camp spot, which we were not expecting, and we rough camped it. And now we're up, ready to do our first 14 to 16K walk, and it starts by walking across the Franklin River. How's your knees? Shaky. Rowan and Giano. Blue boy in training here. He's very blue. He's got a blue pack, blue shirt, and he's turning into a gangster, just like blue boy one. Yeah, good. Yeah. Giano? Yep. Eddie? Tired. Then we're gonna cross the sodden Loddon Plains. Very wet and muddy, swampy land. During the dry periods, you'd be walking in knee deep mud. During the wet periods, you'd be wading in waist deep mud. But um, big shout out to Australia's greatest man. <laughs> Who's that? Dick Smith. All of the Dick Smith um, wheat bicks that they couldn't sell, <laughs> they brought and dumped into the swamp to dry out. <laughs> After which they um, put a um, boardwalk through the swamp. All oh, right, with the inflated, um, fluffed up wheat bicks. That's right. So now we have to don't have to wade through mud. We can wade through wheat bicks. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Let's do it. <laughs> Rowan, are you glad you don't have to walk through that? I surely am. Thank you again, Mr. Dick Smith. Look at that mush that we would have had to walk through. Up to your waist. Look at it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's write to Mr. Smith. Thank him for his his good. His goodness. Wasn't he cute? That's a little wombat, one of the uh, native animals to Australia. Cute little tubby thubby thing. Sure, I'm looking my fabulousness best. Look at this mushroom here. Huge. Well, we're just looking forward to um, having a swim, really. Yeah, I'm ready for a break. I've got Eddie's pack now, and it's super comfy. Damo's bringing up the rear. So we're just coming into Lake Vera, and there's the hut. Looks magnificent. You made it, Eddie. Well done. So we're now at Lake Vera with that as our backdrop, setting up camp. And we're coming down to Lake, Lake Vera, and we're gonna try and have a swim. Not a skinny dip, obviously, because there's other people around. Woo! You're actually in Lake Vera, aren't you? I'm not at it, I'm in it. <laughs> yep. And behind us, you can see a really incredible um, rock face and pinnacles and it's just a really a magic spot. It's gonna dive in, goodness me! Woo! So it's the second day here with Blue Boy and the gang and we're just going to do a tour of this lovely upgraded hut at Lake Vera. So come on in and have a look. Check out these stairs. Nicely done, Jono. Drink as much of our water as we can and fill up again. Pretty happy. And nice little breath. All this natural quartz. Beautiful. Look at it all. In the wilds of Tasmania. Wonder if there is a monster under the bridge. 
What are those monsters called? Is there a troll under there, Rowan? Hope not. Look at this amazing bit of quartz. Like green moss grown all over it. There's my foot to give some context. There's the path. Look how green it is. Red fungi. Halfway to the top, I reckon. And we're going all the way to the top. <laughs> all the way to the top. With our red mushrooms to guide us. We've been climbing up from Lake Vera this morning. The weather didn't clear as hope and uh, we're plodding along in the rain. It's a couple of hours to um, base camp at Lake Tahin. And we're gonna go swimming there on the beach? Going swimming on the beach. <laughs> get the beach towel out. Yeah. And, uh, no swimmers, just... Like... Just starkers. <laughs> Ultralight. <laughs> oh, up the quartz rock face with his bare fingernails. How's the scaling going? Oh, awesome. Look at you. Just My call trip. you uh, Bear Grills in green. Camo green. Nah, he's got nothing on this. He's got nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, get into it, Grills. Scale out quartz. All right, so we've just got to the top of Barren Pass. We popped out to a beautiful view of clouds and wind and rain. Wow, that needle. Oh, there's the needle up there. And we are going to soldier on, aren't we, Demo? We are, yeah. Let's go, yellow and blue boy. Woo, yeah! Gnarly! Very good, my preciouses. We're here in Mordor, <laughs> crossing rocks, traversing around this uh, pinnacle. Yeah. All this quartz uh, just everywhere, and there's this massive scree behind us. So we're at Lake, uh, what is it? Tahoon. At the base of Cradle Mountain, which is up there somewhere. French Macap, French sorry. <laughs> and then, oh. here we are. Yeah, Damo and Rowan all bundle up. What do you think of that view, Rowan? That's pretty amazing. And get a load of the beach. Did you see the beach? In, yes. Just there, in the sand, <laughs> under the water. People in our room said that they swam right across yesterday. Wow. All oh, right. Is that a waterfall? Uh, yeah, it is too. There's a waterfall over there. And the cap is up there, straight up there, behind the clouds, Rowan. Pretty amazing, eh, Jono? Amazing. 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 What do you think? It's amazing. And what do you think, Rowan? It's amazing. Well, I think it's jolly amazing too. We got Damo, who's used the uh, new Z-Pax Plexamid, this beautiful looking tent that we've pitched here for the last couple of nights. What are your impressions, uh, what are your impressions, Damo? Yeah, so this is the first trip that I've um, used Z-Tech products. Um, the tent as well as a pack and I'm very impressed with both of them. Mm. Um, what pack have you been using? I don't know, a blue one. The Arc Zip. The Arc Zip. Yep. And, um, and the Plexamid. And the Plexamid uh, tent. What do you like about it? So, I mean the things that I like about it is obviously it's light. You know, that's got to be the first thing. How light? Um, it's like 420 grams. Yep. 420 grams. Do you feel it in your pack almost? And um, yeah, I mean the thing just like rolls up and it's nothing. Yeah. Just stuff it in your pack, it's just feather light. So there's the helipad at Lake Tahoon. And uh, here's the toilet block. But have a look at this. Wow, you look a bit uh, rugged up there. Yeah, it's a bit cool. I think we're down to about nine degrees here. Yeah. We're um, camped at the base of Frenchman's Cap. Um, Where's Frenchman's Cap? It's in the uh, southwestern Tasmanian wilderness. Is that it up there? And it's like... Up under the clouds. Up under the clouds there, but you can see some of the approach. Yeah. Steep cliffs, and uh, right at the bottom of this bottom cliff, there's a, a lake. 
hut too, right? And there's a hut through here. Little camping uh, platforms, and here Woo. is the helipad. Boo! You can do it the easy way, or you can do it the hard way. We did it the hard way. Also, for rich people to fly in. Oh, okay. That'll be us next time. Yep. <laughs> and the brown room for the down brown. The down, um, the brown room is a compostable toilet. Yep. And those capsules are laden with crap. <laughs> Those things. That has, has been composted though, so yep. they'll take it back and put it on your fruit and veggie garden. Yep. <laughs> and uh, did you make it today? Did you think you weren't going to make it at times? No, I never thought I wouldn't make it, but um, yeah, it was challenging at times, just the fatigue. Uh, it's the longest six kilometres I've ever done anywhere. It's basically rated as one of the um, more challenging walks in Tasmania and, and therefore Australia. Uh, it's also one of the most spectacular and most rewarding and that was certainly the case today even though we were closed in with cloud and rain. Yeah. Um, you know the um, environment here, the um, plants and flowers and everything, the rocks, yeah. just incredible. What rocks did you um, see a lot of today? Mostly um, quartz, mm. white quartz, beautiful bench tops. Um, <laughs> it was like got on my mind the whole day. Beautiful but bench tops just sitting in the ground on the track in front of you. <laughs> But there was also an incredible black basalt cliff, which was striking. Yeah. Um, and all of this, you know, the rocks and everything in the, is just contrasted with these beautiful green lichens and mosses, and mm. it's just wet and green and lush. It's, it's quite impressive. Yeah, look at the view we've got in the background. We haven't had that view all day. We, um, we're reading back through an old log that's been reprinted from 1967 through to about, um, sorry, 64 five through to 78 There's and a hut back um, there, yeah. it's variously rated as this is just people giving their own rating some said a, a three plus some said a four plus some said a five yeah. um, but it's definitely not for the faint-hearted but it's certainly a great feeling of um, you know reward and satisfaction when you make it and there's our first glimpse of blue skies <gasps> blue skies can't believe it Looking forward to summiting Frenchman's Cap tomorrow. All right, you, Damo? Yeah, I'm getting there. So we've waited another day, we're day three, and the weather has cleared, and it's a beautiful afternoon. We're gonna try and summit the Frenchman's Cap. It's Lake Tahine. Through rainforest, you would not believe. to scramble up the, the bush. Yeah! Free duo on it, shortly to be sold. <laughs> oh, nice maneuvering. The scramble. And look what they left behind, oh. the boys. <laughs> what they left behind, Damo? It's uh, <laughs> their backpack with all their rations, emergency supplies. Raincoats. Everything. The boys must have flaked out, and here lies their remains. Their last line of survival. We're approaching the peak. And well, here we are. We're almost to the top of Frenchman's Cap. For that, <laughs> Damo, don't, don't, don't go too close. <laughs> I'll come back. 